here come the Tigers. For Texas A&M, they know they're looking at an opponent that's very dangerous and can give them a real battle. It wouldn't surprise me one bit to see this game come down to whoever has the ball last on that final possession. LSU has lined up for the kickoff, and we're ready to get this one underway. From his own goal line, he gets out to about the 25-yard line. For Texas A&M, is there anything we should be keeping an eye on? They bring everything to the table. They can run or they can pass, and they use a lot of different skill position players. It's not the flashiest offense around, but when it's working, it's one of the most effective. Can't connect. Hey, this guy's got to forget about the drop. Remember, he was in good position to make a play. Gets the ball here and brought down in the back for you. And he was pretty much stuffed on that run. You know what, that was just a nice job by the defense in stopping him before he could get going and build up momentum. Listen to this place. They're changing the play. Back to pass. And they bring him down at the 14-yard line. It definitely put them in better field position. And I just have a feeling that they're going to punch it into the end zone on this drive. Now it's first and ten with a defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. Trying to change the play. Hands it off. He makes his way out to about the six. Nice job by the running back, and that'll get him seven, maybe eight yards. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. up the middle and no room to run. The halfback picks up a yard. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. It's arguably the loudest crowd in the nation and they are turning it up a notch. And he carries the ball for a nice game. And they convert the first down on that run. Now the key to that play is a good blocking up front by the Hog Mollies. They've got the defense on their heels now. It's first and goal. About a yard to Pater. Let's see if they try to pound it in here. Both teams have their goal line sets on the field. Man, the big fella's a battering ram, isn't he? He's almost impossible to slow down in short yardage situations. You knew that that touchdown was going to be won or lost in the trenches. He makes the PAT. So that's a seven-play, 76-yard drive, and a touchdown's a result. The score now, 7-0. Texas A&M to kick this one off. He boots it deep downfield. And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. The offense will take over at the 24-yard line, first and 10. They'll throw on first down. Way to look it in. I like it. They're not afraid to try this defense over the middle. The quarterback saw man coverage and gave his receiver a chance to make a play. They picked up the first down, and I wouldn't be surprised to see them come back to that play. Drops back on first down. Now he's going to run and watch out. Slides down to the ground. Well, this is a nice run for the first down by this quarterback. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 47-yard line. He throws it. Number 10 was the intended receiver on the play. That makes 
Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 47. Run inside, stop quickly. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. One thing the coaches always say about this sophomore is that he has great lateral movement. That lets him move well behind this defensive line and get after a lot of plays in the running game. He's looking for his man, and it's going the other way. It's the senior corner. And he is drilled at the 38-yard line. I really like this corner's ability to read the play. He shows very good football smarts and pretty good hands, too. From their own 38-yard line, first down. He scrambled. Pulls it in, first down, and he's knocked out of bounds. Quarterbacks just love this scenario. He had his man one-on-one -on, -one on a corner route versus man coverage, and you just saw it. It results in an easy first down. Here's a draw. Tackled after a decent pickup. Tailback picked up seven on the draw. It's second down and about three yards. Ball on the 31-yard line. He gets another carry. Gains his way to the 19-yard line. And that's their third first down of the drive. The defense needs to figure out a way to stop them, or else they're going to have no problem putting points on the board. Texas A&M up seven points. Looks to throw. Here comes the pressure. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. Hey, sometimes the defense does everything right, and they still lose. That time they had tight coverage, which left no options other than for the quarterback to take off. Texas A&M, first down here, trying to make it a two-score game. They're calling an audible. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. He just put a little too much air under that one. That's one of the reasons defenses like to blitz, not only to sack the quarterback, but also to force him into making bad throws. And he makes it out to about the five-yard line. I'm not sure what happened, but one of the players is hurt. This is from the five-yard line. It's third and goal. This place is starting to get fired up. Back to pass. He's taken down at the one. This game's already shaping up to be a good one as we head to the second quarter. Our score here at Tiger Stadium, Texas A&M, seven, LSU, nothing. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. They line up in the jumbo set. Give it to the fullback and he's in there for the touchdown. Nice time to use the fullback there. I've always liked when teams mix it up and give the fullback the ball in goal line situations. If the big bruiser can't get you a couple of yards, you don't deserve to get in. And he converts the extra point. It was an eight-play, 63.